I've been challenged by Barbara Benson from Watch Barb and Knit to create a video tutorial for you demonstrating how I knit cables without a cable needle. So here we go. Welcome to the tutorial on knitting cables without a cable needle. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to work these beautiful cross stitches known as cables without using an additional needle to either hold the stitches forward or hold the stitches backwards. For the purposes of this video, I'm using two double pointed needles, but you could easily use any needle for any pattern that you are using. You don't need to specifically use double pointed needles. It just so happens that the stitches fit perfectly onto this size of needle for my little swatch. I am also using Knit Picks Wool of the Andes in the clarity colorway because the 100% wool um, and the non-superwashness of it makes the cable show up really, really well. So I'm going to begin and I'm going to be explaining to you as I go what, um, what techniques I use. So to begin, I'm going to just knit right over my selvage stitches. I'm gonna knit right over to the first cable. And you can notice that I knit continental style, which um, is also called picking. This does still work if you knit English style or throw. So I'm going to do the first way across knitting continental style. I will knit back on the wrong side and then do my cables English style just to show you. So here we have our first place where we would cross these two stitches. This is going to be a cable to left. You may also see it abbreviated as one slash one L. Basically what that means is that this stitch and this stitch need to switch places and we want this one to be in the front. So normally at this point, you would pick this stitch onto a cable needle and hold it to the front of your work. Instead of using another needle, you're just going to put this needle right in. You're going to slip it like you're going to purl and hold it to the front. Knit the next stitch. And now you're wondering, oh my gosh, how in the world do I switch them in order? It's like I just slipped a stitch. You're going to take your left needle, put it in here, and pinch the one you just knit. Now watch this, your needle does a little hop. You pull it out of both of them and put it back into the one just knit. See, simple. The order has been switched. And you have your first cable. So the second one is going to be the cable to right, which is the same thing as this, just reversed. So the stitch you are skipping you hold your yarn to the front and slip the stitch purlwise. Knit the next stitch. And again, put your needle in the back there. Pinch the one you just knit and your needle does this little hop. So most people are worried about dropping a stitch when they work cables. They're afraid that if they pull it off the needles, the stitch is never really going to get back on again. But you can see that when you do that sort of pinch, you're keeping, you're keeping the stitch stationary. So there's no chance of it falling back down the needle. So I'm gonna do this again, the left cross. Slip with the yarn in back. So this is the same as hold to the front of your work, right? Because if there was a cable needle, it would be held to the front. Knit. Put your left needle back in, pinch, and hop, okay, and knit it for the right twist. Put your yarn in the front, slip, and this is the same thing as the stitch being held to the back. Knit, reinsert your needle into the skipped one, pinch, and hop. And you can see, especially for these teeny tiny little cables, this is super duper helpful because now you don't have to pick up and put a cable needle down for every single stitch. But what about a bigger cable? 
In this case, this is a six stitch cable. I'm going to be crossing these first three over the central three stitches of this big braided cable. And this is where people get tripped up because they think, oh my goodness, I'm gonna drop stitches, I'm gonna drop stitches, how will I do this? It's the same thing as the tiny little ones. Do not worry, you can totally do this. So, slip three, knit the next three. Oop, I split my stitch right there, see that? There we go. Now, these are the, we want to switch the order of these three and these three. So I'm going to insert my needle into the three that I wanna move over. And I'm going to pinch all three of these in the back. I'm just gonna pinch them together. You ready for the needle hop? Needle comes out and hops right back in. Ta-da! Now this is as if I was knitting them off the cable needle. But because there is no cable needle, you're able to just keep going, which is fantastic. It'll definitely speed up your cable process once you get used to it. And look at that, all the way across. So here we are, ready to knit that same row again. Well, not quite the same row. The cable will cross in the other direction, English style. And you'll notice when I knit English style, I have to go a little bit slower because I typically only use English knitting, which is also called picking, which is what I'm doing here. I typically only do English style knitting when I'm knitting stranded color work and I need to um, have one color of yarn in each hand. Or if I get bored and I wanna give my wrists a break, then sometimes I'll do that too. So bear with me while we get over here. Okay, so here we are at the first cable crossing. Same thing, we're gonna do the one over one left cross. So this one's gonna get held forward, knit the next stitch, needle in, pinch, jump, and knit. And the only reason I'm showing this to you both English and Continental is because I want you to understand that even though you do have to sort of manipulate the yarn a little bit more, this is still very possible to do without a cable needle. Okay, so needle in, pinch, jump. Oop, there we go. And knit. So next one, the left twist cable, hold it to the front, knit the next stitch, needle in, pinch, jump. I split that stitch a little bit too, but that's okay, because this is a swatch. So that's not to say that this is more difficult to do with English style knitting. Um, I just happen to be slower at it. <laughs> so for the right twist, obviously you need the yarn brought to the front, slip, yarn to the back, knit. I'm gonna, I bring the yarn back to the front when I'm doing these ones, but it's not like strictly necessary. So pinch, jump, there you are. Carry on knitting. Or in my case, fumbling around very slowly, attempting to knit English on a video for you. Do, do, do. Okay. I'm sure there are some of you that are laughing at my English style knitting, and that is totally fine. Oop. Okay, very cool. So now we're gonna do the big cable. And this is gonna be a three over three right twist. So, because it's the right twist, you need the yarn to the front. One, two, three is being slipped. 
yarn to the back. Knit three, one, two, three. Yarn back to the front. Gonna stick these three. Whoop. Gonna stick these three. On here, pinch, whoop, and jump. Yarn goes back into the back, and you knit one, two, three. So there we are. There's your cables. Ta-da! I'm gonna go back to this to whew, finish off my row because goodness my gracious, I am just not used to knitting English style. But I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that this was helpful for you to see the stitches work, to see the technique worked in multiple ways. And please let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see tutorials for other videos. Um, anything else that you'd like to see. If this helped you, I would love to hear from you. I'm always loving to chat with people who watch my videos. So if you'd like to see more tutorials, more podcasts, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And now I am challenging Carol Herman to do a swatching in the round technique video. So you're going to want to click over to Carol's channel. I'm going to have it linked in the description box below so that you can go over and check out the next person in this technique challenge. So Carol, let's see swatching in the round, please. Thank you guys, have a great day.